What's going on everyone? Justin here and guys more back with another box opening video. Today we're gonna be busting open some boxes of 1990-91 Fleer basketball. This was the fifth year for Fleer. Uh, you're looking for the Michael Jordan All-Star card, Michael Jordan base card, Sean Kemp rookie card, and some others that are also in here. So pretty cool set. Uh, I got these from the same seller I bought quite a few boxes from. Um, so Pretty sure I didn't pay more than fifty to sixty dollars per box on these. So that's typically what I go. It's kind of my max amount. And if I win them, I win them. If I don't, I don't. So, yeah, really fun uh, boxes. These are the last three probably that I'll open of the '90 Fleer, at least for a while. Um, we just we've opened quite a bit of it. So, really nice. Not too much wax on that. Opens up pretty easily. Lamar is in here. What's going on? Short round. Very cool last name you got there. Thank you for the good luck wishes. It's Saturday night. Anybody got any plans for Sunday? Slyon, what's going on? Peter. Good to see you again. Did we get the same guy? We got a Magic Johnson on the back. Wow, look at that. Magic Johnson on the back. Let me tilt the camera a little bit. Not too bad. It's got a little bit of wax on there. Definitely feel that on there. And a little top to bottom, maybe. We'll still sleep them up. All right, let's get into it and see what we get here. We got Moses Malone, Reggie Miller. It's a nice one. AC Green. So, usually get quite a few Jordans out of here. Pretty sure it's over 200 bucks still. For the 10 and then uh, the all-star cards are pretty cool in here as well I think that one's similar in a 10 it is hard to get because it's usually off-centered we do have one all-star card in here there's uh, 12 all-star cards in the set so you got a good shot at hitting the Jordan out of a box there's a Glenn Rice rookie it's not worth a whole lot but Steve Kerr Sean Elliott I think that's Sean Elliott's rookie as well and is that a yes it is a sean kemp rookie card already right out of the gate centering's looking really good on these usually that from the yellow to the bottom it's usually a little bit like skinnier sometimes and the top's a little bit thicker but yeah that's looking perfect man that's looking psa 10. let's go i think the sean kemp's are like 100 bucks or so in a 10. so that pays for the box right there <laughs> i've had said hi to everybody yet hi thanks for coming leonard i see you peter lamar everyone else tim hardaway i think that's tim hardaway's rookie as well kim lajuan there we go spud webb short stuff and kevin McHale. see we got for the all-star here hopefully it's a jordan and it is a stockton hey that's looking pretty good on the centering though a lot of times that centering, the left to right, like from here to here and here to here, that's how you can tell the centering. And then the top and the bottom, top to bottom. Back it's a little bit off, but front looks really, really good. Nice and crispy. Take a look at it later. But yeah, those cards are tough. I don't know what the Stockton's worth in a 10. Probably not a ton, 30, 40, 50 bucks maybe at most. But you can get like the, the bird at the mat. The Magic Johnson, those are going to be worth pretty decent money, too. Got Jody Mars. Jody Mars the third. What the heck? Didn't know that. And then Patrick Ewing. <laughs> Getting all kinds of Hall of Famers here. No Jordans so far. A lot of times those All-Star cards are on the back, too, so they take up that wax. But the wax seems to be pretty good on a lot of these. So, not too shabby. I like these packs because they're pretty easy to open as well. There's Kevin Duckworth. Is he next to Jordan in here? No, he isn't. But we got a Vladi Divac rookie. Very nice. Cartwright. Adrian Dantley. He's a Hall of Famer. We passed him up before because I didn't know who he was until somebody had mentioned it in my uh, videos. So thank you, whoever you were, that let me know who Adrian Dantley was. Thing is that some of these players were getting close to retiring, so I never really watched them play. That's why I like 
I didn't know that they were Hall of Famers. But Sean Kemp, yeah, it was a nice Sean Kemp. Looks like we got another um, possible Sean Kemp coming up. I don't think so, though. Charles Barkley, Dennis Johnson, Hall of Famer. Another one you guys pointed out for me. Fat Lever. Bernard King, another Hall of Famer you guys pointed out. Chris Mullen, one of the purest shooters of all time. John Stockton, all-time assist leader. So many greats in here, guys. So many greats. And $60 a box. I mean, it's a really good deal, in my opinion. Uh, another Fleer, and it is a Tom Chambers. He's the only guy that's not in the Hall of Fame that's in the All-Star set here, so... And that one even looked like pretty good, pretty good on the centering. So hopefully, all these uh, all-star cards come out really nicely centered. And we got our first Jordan, nice. And he's looking good on the centering. A little chigger bite right there. Can barely see it, but yeah, you can kind of see it on the back too. It's kind of pushed in just a tad bit. So unfortunate about that. But we got our first Jordan. Sweet. So one Jordan and one Sean Kemp. We got David Robinson's Fleer. Very nice. He did have. Uh, he didn't have a uh, 89 Fleer, I don't believe. He had 89 hoops, but not 89 Fleer. So I think that's his Fleer rookie card, if I recall. So I'll set that over there. Very nice card. Yeah, we're just going to be doing this for a little while. I don't want to do, like, tons and tons of boxes every day, but two, three boxes doesn't take too long, maybe an hour at most on these. Um, if you guys didn't catch it, I opened uh, Michael Jordan promo card earlier. If you guys didn't catch that video, check it out. Uh, one of them was a fake, and uh, I show you guys the difference and how to spot it. Obviously, I didn't know that when I purchased it, um, since it was my first time buying it. Um, yeah. Do you consider buying Upper Deck Michael Jordan Masters Collection? Masters Collection. I'm not sure what set that is, but if it's a separate set from, like, something that came out in packs, I'm not too interested in those sets. Um, I'm trying to think what the Masters Collection set is. Anything that actually came out of packs is what really what I'm looking for, for Jordan cards, or like, there's Alex English, hard to find, like, rare cards, like they did ones where you had to, like, send off for them and stuff, but not, like, just sets where they made, like, thousands of the same set, and it's, like, a commemorative thing, if that's one of the ones you're talking about, I'm not too interested in it, there's another Magic Johnson, so we're two on those. Glenn Rice rookie again, so we're getting that same pack. Sean Elliott, yep. Same thing. And we got the Kemp as well. Nice. So we got another Sean Kemp rookie card. He's looking nice. He's looking nice. Man, oh man. Could be another $100 bill right there. $100 bills, y'all. So stay tuned to the channel because we're going to be sending those off to PSA. I've already got close to 400 cards right now. All ready to go. I'm probably going to send them off first, first week of June. And then we'll work um, work on another shipment for June as well. Dominique Wilkins, Robert Parrish. It's the first one of him we've gotten. Rain Man, Sean Kemp. I've never heard of that one. Um, Reggie Miller. I thought he was called. No, I don't know what his nickname was. I don't remember it being called Rain Man though. Do 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 do. Let's get this pile kind of organized here because it's going to get pretty tall towards the end. Alright, I'm thinking we're due for another All-Star card and another Michael Jordan card here. Usually get about three, about three of them each per box. Maybe one All-Star. So you don't get All-Stars in every pack. Seems like a lot of packs though, you'll get you'll get an All-Star in, uh, in the back, but we're not seeing any of that here. Hopefully these weren't like searched. If that's what they can do. They can see like, oh, there's an all-star in the back, so I'll just keep that pack. But some of them we've gotten don't have that issue. Like, see, there's two in there, so we're still getting the all-stars, it's just not in the back. Jim Paxson, Kenny Walker, Buck Williams, John Paxson again. What the heck? 
And, oh, it was his brother or whoever that is. Jim Paxson. <laughs> Jim Paxson, John Paxson. Uh, and we got the Jordan All-Star. Yes, right there, guys. Heck yeah. Got the Jordan All-Star. He's a little more off-centered than the other ones were. He's got one little print dot right there. Not really a big deal. They don't. Another one right there. They don't really knock down too harsh for that. I'd say with that centering, it's probably a nine. Um, but let's look at the back of it. Yeah, the back's looking really good. Nice. So we got the Jordan All-Star. Sweet. I got that in a nine already. I don't have it in a ten, though. So I'm trying to get that in a ten. But we pulled quite a few of those. Um, some of them I think I sent off to PSA already. Sean Elliott, which means we're going to get... Hey, Sean Kemp. Nice. I wasn't expecting... I was thinking Glenn Rice, but... Got another Sean Kemp. Another nicely centered. Nice looking... Yeah, that's looking good. It's looking good, guys. Three Sean Kemp's already. Two Jordan. Only one base, though. So. so we should be due for another Jordan base here. Let me know what other sets you guys want to see. I've bought a few boxes here in the last week. Um, one was that Jam Sessions I was telling you guys about. With the taller cards. There's a Magic Johnson. That one's looking pretty good. Set that one to the side. Glenn Rice Rookie. Um, trying to think what are the other boxes I bought. Alex English. Oh, I got the... Um, Looney Tunes cards or whatever from the 90s. Those are pretty cool looking. Reggie Jackson and Nolan Ryan. It's because I remember those as a kid and I got the box for like 10 bucks. It's like super cheap. So that should be a fun little opening for us. Hey, we got a Clyde Drexler. He's OC, but it's pretty much the same centering as the Jordan. So I guess not every one of them is going to come out the same centering. We haven't seen Larry Bird yet either. Which is strange. We haven't, bought, we haven't found the bird, but we found two ma two magics at least, two or three. All right. Yeah, I'm starting to look at boxes that you know we haven't done on the channel yet. Oh, I did get a box of '96, '96 collector's choice. I do believe that should be a fun one. Uh, it was the year Kobe Bryant's rookie card, Iverson, and um, Ray Allen. I'm not sure. If they'll be in that one because I think it's series one but definitely some Jordans in there and just I love those uh, collector's choice boxes a lot of fun I'm bidding on an another one from another year because um, I like I like those collector's choice ones the only one I didn't like was I, oh we got a Mookie Blaylock rookie card um, I think it was 94 95 or 95 it wasn't was it 95 96 I think it was 94 95 I've got it in the other room. It's got Jordan on the box, like his pictures on the front. I think it's series one. There we go. We got Larry Bird finally. Nice. I think his cards are going to be going up with when they come a little bit closer to that documentary with Magic Johnson, which there's a B.J. Armstrong rookie, which I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen, but it's pretty cool. Mitch Richmond. But no, the box has a Jordan on the front of it, and I think that's what lures a lot of people in, man. Look, it's way off-centered on the cut. Look, they barely see the top border on that. Um, Scotty Pippen, nice. I think that's the first Pippen we've seen. Cliff Robinson, I think that's his rookie, Stacy King, as well. I'll go through and kind of separate these out later. Alvin Robertson. Alvin Robertson. Wait, no, he's not in the Hall of Fame. I was mixing him up there. Pooh Richardson. Sometimes these these names they they're familiar and I'm like wait a minute no he's not. Looks like we got another All Star coming up here guys. Winston Garland another Tim Hardaway rookie card I like that one. Akeem the Dream Spud Webb the Web we weave Kevin McHale right before the All Star card again and it is a Magic Johnson nice. Unfortunately off centered on that one. Off the right pretty bad it's got a little pink pink dot there. Um, but that centering is pretty tough, so probably an eight on that one, if I had to, if I had to guess. And Rodman with some wax on the back. Not too bad though. I'm happy so far. Common cards all get thrown in a pile. I'm gonna 
hopefully soon do something with them box them all up put them online and see if I can get some bites on them if somebody wants to pick them up maybe throw in like some good cards with it just to get them get them to take them off my hands because I have no use for them some people take them and they do like lots look at the like the cuts on these you can see the bottom border is like a lot skinnier yeah see that David Robinson rookie they're all looking like that now um, but people take like a thousand cards or how many ever cards maybe they do like a flat rate box and they'll just fill it up with cards and they'll show a bunch of cards like oh you can get this card that card and it's like all random I know a lot of people buy into that kind of stuff but I just think it's I don't know there's too many people out there that do it to like dupe, dupe people Adrian Dantley I almost forgot he was in the Hall of Fame um, so it's just not something I want to do or spend my time doing and right now, flat rate boxes are like impossible to get at the post office. I don't know why everybody's using them up or whatever, but they said they ordered more and they're on the way. And I've been looking every day and they aren't there. Luckily, I still got three or four because I use those for my uh, PSA submissions. Instead of paying a bunch to ship cards out to California, like five, six pounds of cards, I ship them in the medium flat rate box for like 15 bucks. It's like That's the smartest way to go in my opinion. Always go with the flat rate anytime you can. John Stockton. Isaiah Thomas. Almost didn't see him. James Worthy. Will Purdue. And another all-star card. He's flipped over. And it is a Carl Malone. Not bad on the centering. Not perfect, though. Um, it's Carl Malone. Not a big Carl Malone fan. More looking for the Larry Bird. And the uh, Michael Jordan right there. Nice. I was going to say the... Uh, What's his name? Irvin Magic Johnson. It's it's top to bottom. You can see from those borders on the back and also the front. So probably like an eight centering on that one. But we got our second base Jordan. So not bad. So three total Jordans and three total of the um, Sean Kemp so far in box number one, which is not bad. Hopefully we can keep the ball rolling. All right, finishing up box number one. Yeah, guys, have any other questions? Let me know. <clears throat> I need to get the Jordan from '87. Well, actually, I need all of his cards. '87s, '88s. I need two of the '88s. I have the All Star one. I just don't have the sticker one. All Star one, I got lucky and I got it in a lot. I had two of them in. They both graded PSA 9s. I was pretty pretty excited about that. Ooh, this has got like, look at the scratches on that surface. Like, what the heck happened there? Holy crap, Kevin McHale. You guys seeing that? Jeez. Um, but yeah, that's like a $200 card now. And we got another base Jordan. Nice. Third one of the box. Like I said, get about three in the box. This one's left to right and top to bottom. So it's shifted like that. Shifted over. And you can tell on the back, too. So we got one nice Jordan. The other two are, unfortunately, probably not great. But that's just, you know, that's just part of the game. Can't expect every card to come out as a 10 or even a 9. All right, we got another David Robinson. Tad bit top to bottom, but not too bad. I've seen some of them that look like that. Still get 10s. Adrian Dantley. Jer Jerry Curls. Isn't that what they call them when they had that hair? I don't, his isn't really that curly, but... I know it was a big hairdo back in the day. Tim Hardaway and the mullet. Everybody remembers the mullet. <laughs> Akeem the Dream, Spud Webb, another mullet. <laughs> Got to point out the funniness. Uh, Charles Barkley. About to see if I can get two box a lot of Collector's Choice. Very nice. Which uh, Collector's Choice box are you looking to get there? Young, young Mozart. Kevin Duckworth, Vladi Divac rookie. Definitely the 95-96 is pretty nice. 96-97, um, obviously. I mean, any of the any of the years. Only the one with the Jordan on the front. I think it's 94-95 series with one. I didn't really care for it. Got another Pippin and a Isaiah Thomas All-Star card. Not too shabby. So I think we've got most of the All-Star cards so far. I don't. I haven't been really separating them or keeping track. We got like one, two. Three, 
four, five, six. We've gotten seven, I think, so far out of the 12. So if you can get like three, four so all-star cards, you got a good shot at getting a Jordan. Yeah, anytime you can do a two box lot though, instead of just one box, you're gonna get a, you're gonna notice that you're gonna get them for cheaper than what one box costs shipped, because they can save on the shipping and it seems like less people are willing to buy two boxes as opposed to, you know, just buying one box. Yeah, and we got one last All Star card. So Alvin Robertson, Pooh Richardson. Let's see if we can get one more Kemp or. Jordan, there's a Mitch Richmond. I could feel the wax on the back of that one. Minute Bull passed away. Two of them for $43. Holy crap. Uh, which ones are they? Let me know. Dennis Rodman? I'm not going to bid on him or anything. I'm just curious. Ooh, do we got another Jordan? Ah, it's Stacy King rookie. Dang it. I thought it was a Jordan. And it's got wax. Dag Nabbit. That's the only thing about these. The back card's always going to have wax on it. But I heard you can take pantyhose and, like, rub it. You know, don't rub it, like, super hard, but it'll, like, grab the wax, I guess, and take it off of the card. Um, I mean, if I ever get a card that looks really, really good but just has wax on it, I'll definitely consider that. So far, that hasn't happened. Buck Williams, Orlando Woolridge, John Paxson, 93-94. Okay, 93-94, collector's choice. I'm trying to think. I think they should have Jordans in there. I haven't looked into those really. And a Patrick Ewing. But yeah, make sure you know what you'll you know you know what's gonna be in them. Larry Bird, alright. There's also um 9394, so you had Anthony Hardaway and Chris Weber. Those are probably gonna be in series two. Um But yeah, 9394 Upper Deck had tons of Jordan cards in it, so I'm I'm assuming Collector's Choice would have quite a few. But if you type in on eBay, like, 90, 1993 Collector's Choice Jordan, and just look look and see, like, what cards you can get out of there, that's going to tell you, you know, what you can pull. And I don't I don't know if they had Players Club ones that year. I think it was later on. But they had, this like, the Silver Signature ones. Um, gold Signature Jordan. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, the Silver Signature, and then they had the Gold Signature... I thought that was in 94, though. Um, yeah, what are the uh, inaugura inaugural editions? The boxes that are, like, instead of, like, long boxes, they're, like, sideways. You know what I'm saying? They're, like, this big, and they're sideways. Those are the international ones or whatever. There's different languages on them. I, I haven't bought any of those because I'm not really too familiar with them. But I guess there could be different cards in there from what I hear. Um... I don't know, maybe we'll end up getting one. Holographic cards are in them. Oh, wow. So th they have different cards than, than the regular ones? They're not... All the writing and everything is still normal, isn't it? Or is it actually in a different language? I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Another Stacy King rookie card. Dot Bulls. Clyde Drexler. So this is box number two. So it's going to be a completely different box here. We got another Larry Bird. Slightly off-centered. First edition decent have holographic. First edition doesn't have holographic. I don't know what first edition you mean. Benoit Benjamin, Manute Bull, Luki Blaylock, Muggsy Bogues, Orlando Blackman, Horace Grant. Yeah, I was watching the, the Bulls went up against the the pay, um, the Pistons in uh, ninety and eighty nine and ninety, and they and they lost before they could make it to the finals. And Jordan was a real good sport about it, and, and walked up to you know all the players, shook their hands, and all that good stuff. Hey, we got a Larry Bird All Star. Very nice. We did not hit this one in the last box. Very very nice. A little bit off centered. Yeah, I'd call that a nine centering. Other than that, looks pretty crispy. Um, I'll go ahead and just set that in the pile. Um, but yeah, anyways, and then the Bulls won the championship in 91, of course, against the Pistons. Uh, Alex English, 
or beat them out or whatever. And um, they didn't. Uh, the Pistons were very uh, unsportsmanlike and just kind of walked walked out of there. And I guess I guess that's one of the reasons why Isaiah Thomas uh, didn't didn't go to the Dream Team and why he doesn't like Jordan. But I mean, it's kind of his own fault for being such a poor sport about it. So just one more one more reason why I don't like. Um, Isaiah Thomas. And we got a Jordan. He's on the back, so... Yeah, it's gonna have some wax on there. You can actually, like, see it. See it on there. So. Huh. And, yeah, see, he's off-centered anyways. So. Not complaining. Just, you know, pointing out the obvious here. It happens. Can't expect perfect. Um... But yeah, I'm just not an Isaiah Thomas fan because of that. And he's, you know, he's cheap shot at people in the face. And uh, Jordan went up to Rodman. Even Rodman was on, he was on the um, Pistons at the time when Jordan lost, and you know, shook his hand and everything. Told him good game or whatever. Um, and then later on, Rodman comes to the Bulls and they win championship together. So pretty awesome just to see it, you know, knowing how it all unfolded. Uh, we got another count. He's looking pretty off on the centering. Last box was really good. So I was having high hopes. Sean Elliott. Glenn Rice. We got another all-star card. Hopefully another Jordan here. We got one in the last box. And Hakeem the Dream. He's actually looking really nicely centered. I don't know. Oh, he's got a bad line in it. See that line that runs all the way down it? Unfortunate on that one. So it's it, it's almost like a crease line. And when they, if you grade that, and they, they they will catch that, obviously. I mean, it's pretty plain as day. Um, the card will get like a six or a seven at most. So definitely don't don't want to do that. But if I do get a really nice Hakeem, I would probably grade it. Um, but they're, they're few and far between. Here's uh, David Robinson. And that one actually had really nice left to right centering, so I was hopeful at first. All right. Getting my stacks kind of getting a little big here. Move these back and start a second one. Inaugural is the update series of first edition. Huh. Interesting. So that's interesting. We got a David Robinson All Star. That one's looking pretty good. Oh, it's all weird on the. Sometimes it's the centering for whatever reason. That it, it it's like almost looks like the card's at a weird angle. It's, it's strange. I don't, I don't know any other sets that have that happen. But what are we at here? One Jordan, on, I think? Or no, two? I think that's just a one. Still at one one Jordan. And one Sean Kemp. Because we got three out of the first box. That's all right. Three base, anyways. Once again, a huge uh, pile of wax packs on the ground. All right, let's see what we got here. Haven't got a Vladi Divac rookie in a while, huh? Reggie Miller. I didn't like Miller either because he was a real showboater. And he kind of was disrespectful to the Bulls, like bowing down to the the crowd after he made a shot, like, like an F you to the crowd or whatever. And then the Bulls came back and won with like two seconds left. That was a pretty sweet victory, I mean, you know oh my god that one's off cut so that's a miscut card completely you can see part of the other card that's actually pretty cool it's just a common Paul Pressy um, but yeah it's actually really nicely cut on the back from what er is it let me see here yeah I think it's nicely cut on the back oh it is shifted it's shifted that way you can see this is what it's supposed to look like you can see how far his name is from the side but also the ball is like pretty Pretty far over here and this one's really close so I was gonna go into my like pile of um, misprints or whatever you want to call them weird how that was the only card like that magic Johnson very nice but now I now I lost my train of thought <laughs> Uh, 
Dennis Hobson. Sean Kemp, very nice. Got another Sean Kemp. Pretty much the same centering as the last one. So that's unfortunate, but these cards are going up. I mean, they're going up. He's not even a Hall of Famer. And uh, I remember looking like, it couldn't even have been two months ago, those those in a PSA 10 were like $40. Now you'd be lucky to get one for 100 It's crazy how, how fast the price can just go. All right, we got another All-Stars. A Jordan, looking good on the centering. And it's a Lodge one, nice. Another Lodge one. So two in the same box. I could already tell what the centering was uh, because of how far it was from that hoop on that side. I know that's gonna be about the same there, as you can see. And then it doesn't have that weird line, so that's good. Uh, it does have something going on on this side though, just like that other one did, where I don't know if I can pick it up. It's, it's like a line that goes there, like a scuff line almost. And a little off on the back. Take a look at it later. It's looking just a little bit weird. All right, let's keep this going. But yeah, um, Pistons, Pistons were just, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> wasn't a fan. Of course, Rodman was also pretty rough on the team. He threw uh, Pippen down pretty hard a few times. At least, but they, you know, they made up when he got on the Bulls. You know, hard feelings kind of thing. Strictly business. I think Jordan had to tra chase Rodman down a few times because he would go out and party all night. It's like he got a basketball game to play. And, uh, but he's, he played his heart out every time he's out there, man. Adrian Bant Dantley again. Rodman was, he was something else to watch, man. Uh, we got uh, Vladi Divac, rookie card. That one's actually looking really nice. I'll have to look that one over. Set it in the pile for now. Yeah, Rodman would just get rebounds, tip him in, just making really good plays. Uh, another Jordan, we'll set him down for right now. He's also looking a little off-centered. We haven't got too many, like, really nice centered ones in here. There's Olajuwon, Tim Hardaway, Chris Mullen. Like I said, I've kind of slowed down on the buying of these cards. Um, I get my money's worth out of them with, you know, with a couple cards, but um, I think I'll have pretty much all of them taken care of as far as the PSA 10s go, except for, you know, some of them like the All-Stars. And it is a Ewing. He doesn't have that weird misprint. He's a little off-centered. Pretty nice looking on that one. Pal, what is going on? Thanks for coming. Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton. We see those same order every time, too. Yeah, somebody commented on my video because it was like Pippin card, no Tippin' Pippin, and then the next card was the same guy every time. I can't remember who it was. But they were like, oh my god, it's some they said something comment on the video uh, that because uh, I it was like the same thing happened over and over again but it's because of the same card order it's pretty funny let's go ahead and sleeve him up looking like the print looks a little bit light too let's see here see the color difference it might be hard to tell but you can you can tell Top one's a little darker. It's just like a little bit more faint. Sometimes that happens as well. Not the end of the world, but something you notice. We had that happen on the tops, 93, 94. I pulled a, the first Jordan I pulled out of there that was like really nicely centered on one of them. And then the, the print, like, like they completely missed the color. And um, it didn't print very nicely, unfortunately. Got another camp in here I just seen on the back. Jerry Sloan's cards went up. Um, yeah, I mean that pretty much happens when everybody's whenever someone passes away, whether it's a sports player, um, anybody famous, everybody goes out and tries to buy their stuff, which is I mean it's really dumb. Because I mean 
I don't know what that really, I mean, it doesn't really do anything for, for the cause, you know what I mean? You just, I don't know. Then you're buying the items for like more money than they're even worth because two months from, two months from now they're just gonna go back to what they were before. Um, yeah, it does have the wax on there because of the back card. Um, they go for 70 in a PSA 10, uh, that camp or the Jerry Sloan. Uh, we got Patrick Ewing, Joe DeMars, Charles Barkley, Dennis Johnson. We've got another All-Star card coming up. Hopefully it's a Jordan. We haven't got a Jordan in this box yet. And it is Isaiah Thomas. So he's looking pretty good, pretty goodly centered. Almost thought that was Gary Payton for a second there and I'm like, no, he's in the Jerry Sloan. Okay, that's not a bad purse. Thing is, it takes like four months to get a card graded, and then by the time you get it back, nobody's gonna want it anymore. Adrian Dantley, um, Kevin Duckworth, Vladdy Divac. It's looking pretty good. Is that? Yeah, it is the back one. Dog on it. Yeah, not Jerry Sloan. Jerry Sloan. Michael Jordan base. Nice. Our third one in the box. Same centering. Wow, wow. I don't know if I've seen the Jerry Sloan out of here. I haven't really, I don't think they have coach cards in here, do they? Could be wrong. Maybe you're talking about the 89 hoops or something. So that's three Jordans in box number two. Still have yet to hit his all-star though. Yeah, Phil Jackson cards are worth a lot too. Those ones I like to grade because I want to get those for my collection as well. Um, it's going on 130 already, huh? Dang. Probably still knock out this last box here as well. Just want to get kind of get through these boxes and some of these cards I might hold. I might not, sh might not submit all these cards with the next submission because I got quite a few already. We got Bernard King. Dumbing thing is cards going up because of some TV show. Sosa, McGuire, and Bonds cheating. <laughs> uh, and Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Um, you know, that's just the way it is. I mean, they're doing these uh, um, documentaries or whatever, and it's just people are are the way they are. They, It's, it's cause and effect, really. Um, we got another all-star card here after the Rodman. And we got a Magic Johnson. Nice. He's looking nicely, nicely centered. Check that out. You just, you never find these with that nice, where the basketball hoop is the same distance from the left to the right. That's just, that's hard to find. And then the top to bottom looks pretty good as well. Back's a little off, but back, back can kind of be off. Um, nice. I'll set it in the pile and look it over later, but nice. But yeah, um, I mean, the same day that they announced that, everyone went out and bought those cards, and the card prices just shot up. I think people are, they're not, um, they're not, um, you know, worried about the fact that they, that they did, uh, drugs or whatever, um, because they were great players, you know what I mean? And that's going to kind of decide the price. You know, it's a, it's it's kind of de of a debate. You know, there's some people that hate hate him now. I mean, it's just you got to think, just like the uh, Astros who cheated. You know, and now everybody's booing him and stuff like that. But um, you know, I don't know. I'm not a baseball player, so I can't really put my voice on that. But if I was playing sports like that and at the top of a, of a level like that for that many years and having to like perform night after night after night I can I can only imagine how exhausting that would be and how how much like physically that would um, cause on your body and everything so taking some sort of a performance enhancement type thing as much as it's frowned upon um, I can see why they did it, you know what I mean? Not that I agree with it, but... 
how many people did it that didn't get caught, you know what I mean? And then their names don't get ruined. So is that fair for all the guys that names did get ruined? Not to say that cheating in any way, shape, or form is justified, but you have to look at it from both sides of the story. What about um, Pete Rose, who's not in the Hall of Fame because he gambled on sports, you know what I mean? His rookie cards are worth a ridiculous amount of money, especially in a PSA 9 or a 10. That thing's worth a ridiculous amount of money. But, you know, each person, I guess, is entitled to their own opinion. I, I mean... I mean, obviously, Bonds was arguably one of the best of all time. So, like I said, I can't put myself in their shoes because I could never do what they did. That's playing any sport like that for that many years, just day after day after day. And imagine getting hit hit from a baseball at 100 miles an hour. Like, tch, I'd be on the ground. Like, <laughs> that's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. You gotta think they they. Even in the off-season, they're working out, they're training, they're just, I mean... And then baseball players, I mean, they play into the, A lot of them play into their 40s. Look at Nolan Ryan, look at Ichiro. Like, look at all these, like, players that play for 20, 20 or more years just in the freaking major leagues. That's, that's nuts. Absolutely nuts. But, um... It is what it is. And we got a Jordan. Check it out. Another Jordan All-Star card. A little white. It probably just didn't get cut. Yeah. Looking pretty good, though. I mean, a little down there. Didn't get cut. Nice. Pretty decent centering. Not perfect. I'm liking it. I am liking it. It's all you can ask for on these. Doesn't have that weird, like, line through it like that other, that one did. Of, uh, what was it? Magic Johnson or, or, uh, Elijah one. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of times when you kind of put yourself in their shoes, it's it's a lot different than just being on the outsides. Like, you know, you can point fingers at people and whatnot, but you know, it's, it's a game at the end of the day. They're obviously they're getting paid a lot of money. They're performing in front of millions of people. They're you know making a lot of sacrifices being away from family and nowadays at least sports athletes make a ridiculous amount of money but back in the day I mean they made a lot less than they do now um, especially Babe Ruth like he I can't remember the salary Babe Ruth made it was like 20,000 a year or something crazy like you think of that now I mean obviously it was in the 19 like 20s and, and 30s and stuff but they didn't make anything like they do now. Signing like $100 million contracts and crap. Even Jordan compared to like what players make now was like not as even close. Like I think, wasn't it Curry that signed like a five year deal for like some crazy amount? That was probably like three years ago or something. Who knows what kind of de uh, deal LeBron signed with the Lakers. I don't really look into it too much, but I think that's a lot of reason why some of these players don't play as long as of careers either because they don't really even need to. Why play into your 40s when you've already made like hundreds of millions of dollars? All right, let's see what we got here. And it's a David Robinson. Not too shabby. This is the last box. We got another Jordan. Same, same centering as that last box on that one. But I'm optimistic. They can they can turn around in a second. Next thing you know, they're coming out perfectly centered. Um, wonder uh, wonder if they're gonna announce anything about basketball here. I haven't really looked into it, but and another Jordan. Holy crap! Two Jordans like in the same stack. That doesn't happen too often. There's David Robinson. That's looking pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. We'll set him in the pile there. Go through him later. Adrian Dantley. Again. Sam Bowie. Tim Hardaway, rookie. Robert, Robert, uh, Mullet. Uh, Akeem, Akeem the Dream. And we got another All-Star. Hopefully Bird or Magic. Or Jordan. 
And it's Olajuwon. Okay, he would have been my fourth choice. He's uh, off-centered on that one. This one doesn't have that weird line there. there. Um, but right after another Olajuwon was another Olajuwon. Dennis Johnson, Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, Joe DeMars, Duckworth. Look, man, that guy looks tall. What was he, like seven foot? Yep, seven foot. Right on the money. Uh, Vladi Divac. Cartwright, and not too shabby. Big stack of cards I'm gonna have to go through later. Uh, pretty typical. What did you get this box for? I wanna say I paid $50 to $60. I know my bids were like no more than $60 on these. I'm not sure exactly what I want them for because they're all auctioned. So whatever the um, auction ended at, I'm gonna say 50 to 60. I mean, that's. I don't think I got them for too much cheaper than that. Typically, people, you know, bid them up pretty consistently. But same seller, I spent like over two grand. Um, got a bunch of tops, 92, 93. We opened like five boxes of those the other night. I had to send two of them back because they're series one and they're supposed to be series two. Series one boxes are worth like 60 bucks, and the series two are worth like 150. So I wasn't gonna keep the two screw ups and you know lose out on like 200 dollars. And the seller had quite a few nags, but they had a really big feedback. So I, you know, I bought them anyways. And then, sure enough, they screwed up on my order, which you think they would have double-checked everything, like, two times over, three times over. Not to toot my own horn, but I, I mean, I ship out hundreds of items a month myself, and I, I like, never make mistakes. <laughs> always, always double, triple-check. And I, I knock all my shipments out within, like, two, three minutes. A piece, you know, not to, not, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I can't believe that he screwed up that bad on uh, a $2,000 order nonetheless, you know what I mean? Like, that's just nuts. Um, he also gave me the wrong, there was, I bought Skybox 91 Series 1 and 2, and I was supposed to get 6 Series 1, 4 Series 2, um, or no, 8, 8 Series 1 and 4 Series 2. And I got seven series one and five series two, but I didn't even mention that. I didn't even like throw up a stink about it because I'd rather have the series two anyways. And I bought probably way too many of the series one. I think I went like 30 bucks maybe on those boxes. So got them for a really good deal. And those are great for the Jordans. You get so many Jordans in those boxes. Um, John Paxson, a lot of times John Paxson's right before that all-star card. If you guys notice that. And a Drexler. All right. So. But yeah, we'll be eventually cracking those boxes. Oh, we got a third Jordan already. Wow. Crazy. Not even like 30% into the box here, and we got three Jordans already. Don't think we've hit a Kent, though, on this box yet. So that's strange. Um, yeah, 90 Fleer. Don't, I wouldn't pay more than 60 bucks, but that's, you know. That's what I've been going. I've gotten quite a few boxes. $60 shipped. You know, I had one seller, I think they had three boxes. A lot of three boxes. I paid $180 for all of them shipped. And we got a Kemp. You ask and you shall receive. Ooh, he's got some wax. Sometimes you can almost like, eh, it doesn't really come off, but. Eh, yeah. Decently centered. A little nick on it. Could have been worse. Cool shot, he's like going for a dunk, but like at an angle. That's what it looks like anyways. Alrighty. But I got so many, uh, I got so many of those Sean Kemp's all ready to go to PSA. Um, already in sleeves and card saver ones. At least seven or eight of them. Because the last time we opened a bunch of these boxes, I pulled quite a few. And they are all ready to go. I think I'll do with this next shipment though is I don't want to send like too many of the same card. Uh, I kind of like spread it out over time. That way I have enough time to like sell the cards off as they come back kind of thing. Cause I got, like I said, I've got at least 400 cards already to go for PSA and uh, I just sent off three shipments uh, this month already. So that's why I'm waiting until June, but it's probably gonna happen the first week of June. So I want to go ahead and get that out the door, Get get another 400 cards out the door. 
Robert Parrish. Magic Johnson, very nice. I was gonna ship like maybe 170 of them in and then do another 170 like another shipment like a week later or something, but problem with that is every time you ship cards and you're paying that flat rate box price of 15 bucks, I figure I might as well um, save on the shipping. And then you're also saving on the shipping back a little bit too, which causes your card per card price to be a little bit a little bit less because uh, right now you're paying nine dollars per card to grade uh, even with a hundred cards or more it used to be you had you could send 200 cards in and you get get them for eight dollars and fifty cents because last year it was eight dollars for a hundred cards or more and then th this year they made it so it's 200 cards or more and it's 850 so it's it still went up in price regardless but then after this whole shutdown thing they decided to do away with that um, price point. Let's see if we get a Jordan All Star here. Oh, it's a Larry Bird. And I don't know why, but there's always a lot of times there's a piece of card that didn't get cut properly. Ooh, that one's like way off centered. Yeah. Um. But yeah, pretty excited about getting these uh, PSA shipments out the door because. Oh, we got another Magic Johnson. He's on the back. So he's got the wax, wax the roux. Um, because come comes uh, fall time or end of summer, um, I'm gonna be getting a lot of boxes back, which is gonna be really nice. I mean, as long as they get through these as fast as they were doing the um, the bulk submissions. Now it's called value pricing. It's not bulk. It's not bulk pricing anymore. It's value pricing. Um, but it's basically the same thing. It's just like their current specials that they got going on. Um, we got another all-star card in here. But basically, you're sending them, you know, 100 cards or whatever. Ooh, we got a nice Sean Kemp. Nicely centered. Let's go. No waxy Rue on the back of Rue. Set that over there for now. First Kemp of the box. It's looking gem. Um... But yeah, if I send cards in May, June, July, August, September, even if I get them back in September, that's four months. It usually takes about a month to get there. They check them in, and then you're looking at a good three months to get them back. Um, so if I can get them back by September, that would be awesome. So, and then I'll be getting cards back in like September, October. And if I can get like a good thousand cards back during those couple months, it's gonna really set me up for October, November, December, because that's. Anybody that do uh, does online selling knows those are the best months of the year. It's called quarter quarter four Q4. That's what it's referred to as. Um, I used to do Amazon full time. Here we go. Yes, another Jordan. Nice. Let's go. It's nicely centered too. Oh man, that is nice. Ooh, it's off on the back. It's got a little blip. Oh no. It's got a blip right there. Wow wow. It's like somebody like pushed it right there. Ah well. Can't win them all, guys. Um But yeah, I used to do Amazon full time and you would kind of build your store up and then come like November, people would be going crazy about buying stuff online. And uh you'd sell all your inventory. Um, in, in November and December, kind of clean house. And then January, you get a couple returns because people always want to return some stuff. I didn't really deal with too many returns, but... And I always had 100% positive feedback on Amazon, which is a lot harder than eBay. Um, but I do have 100% positive on eBay as well. Um, I think I have like 4,300 uh, feedback or 4,400 feedback. And I don't just have positive feedback. People put some pretty pretty nice remarks on my feedback, so I must be doing something right. Been on eBay for 18 years. Started doing Amazon like seven years ago, but unfortunately Amazon kind of went down the drain as far as how they treated the seller and how the smaller sellers kind of got pushed out, kind of priced out of the whole entire market. Uh, which was unfortunate, but 
not the end of the world. It's just time to move on. I'm much happier doing eBay. I don't deal with very many returns like ever. Like right now I have one return and they didn't even send the card back and it, it should have already closed that return out according to the customer service representative I talked to over the phone because it's been like over a month. But the thing's still sitting there as like a return. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to call them again. Because then if they do decide re to return it after a month or whatever, it's gonna end up taking it, taking it back, which they bought something that was new and opened it up and then saying they wanted to return it. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It happens, it happens to all of us. But as far as returns go, I've, I mean, just very, very, very minute amount of returns, um, especially with doing trading cards, because people know exactly what they're getting especially with the graded stuff. That's what I'm pretty much selling on eBay is the graded stuff. Looks like we got a Barkley coming up. Yeah, I could tell by the jersey. Barkley, he's actually looking pretty nice. Oh wait, he's got, he's got some wax roux on the back. Um, Dennis Johnson, Ewing, Dumars, and then there should be, yep, Vladdy Divac. But people have asked me about Amazon, and I was like, just just don't do it. It's not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth the headaches. And I've and I've I've heard other people talk about it as well. Some pretty smart people. One guy runs a pretty big business. He's a multimillionaire, and he talked about why he got off Amazon. What are those All Star Jordans in a ten going for? I'm not 100 percent sure. You'd have to look at it. I think they're about 200 bucks. Don't quote me on that. I haven't looked in the last week or two. But I'm pretty sure it's about 200. It sh if it's not, it should be, because it's it's tough. I don't even have that one in a 10. I've got it in a nine. Um, and I think the base one's 200, 250, somewhere in there. But once again, the prices really fluctuate, so I can't say for 100% certainty, since I have not gotten on a check lately. Either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually get one. I'm gonna get it in my collection regardless because 200 bucks is definitely affordable for me anyways uh, we got Stockton but I'm just hoping that all these boxes I've opened pulling multiple you know Jordan All-Stars that one of them is going to come back a 10 but you know I'm hopeful we got Barkley he's got wax on him Jesus his other card was waxed and now his base card's waxed um, Todd Murphy. But yeah, I definitely recommend eBay for selling cards. Chris Mullen. Um, also, the, there's a website called COMC. Check out my cards. And there's... A sh I can't even... Millions of people on there, I would say. And you, you literally put your bo cards in a box, slap a label on there, uh, put a... Um, a piece of paper in there which has like your your numbers on there or whatever and they they get them and they do all the work for you they scan the cards they um, put them up on ebay even i think it all goes up like at the same time like go, the card will go on ebay it goes on their website people on the website will buy them and then uh, they only take five uh five percent when the card sells um only if you're ta i guess pulling money out instead of like buying other cards off of them or they also have websites where you can buy cards and you can just buy cards from that website and get like a discount um they take like 10 percent though if you take a cash like take a cash buyout basically they take 10 percent which is still not bad because ebay ebay by themselves takes 10 percent out um just as a fee they take out 10 you know 10 percent final value fee and that's not including like paypal fee like three percent and you got to factor in a few percent for you know what if somebody scams it or returns it or whatever so that's 15 percent right there and on comc they take out five percent and then ten percent when you pull your money which is you know 15 percent so i think it's a pretty good deal this magic's looking pretty good pretty good yes it is all right glenn rice that means we got a sean elliott and a Sean Kemp. Nice. Another Sean Kemp. Tad bit off on that one. 
Not horrible though, and the back's looking pretty good. Nice. I'd say a nine at worst on that one, but I'll have to look it over later. We got quite a few. We'll do a kind of a head count here at the end. That's what I like to do to kind of recap how many of uh, each card we got, the main ones. Um, oop. All right. Who's all still in here? Let me know. It looks like we got almost 20 people in here. It seems like every time we get we get towards the end is when we get like a lot more people jumping in. Uh, Kevin McHale, he's a lot of times the guy that's right before the All Star card as well. Maybe it's another Jordan. You never know. And it's a Barkley again. Oh man, we got two Barkleys out of here. So we got trolled by Barkley on this one. Man, all these cards are like orange teams. Suns, Knicks, Suns, Knicks. That's funny. And then D. Mars, yep. We got a Jordan, we got a Vladi Divac. Adrian Danley. John Stockton. Who comes after Stockton? Okay, never mind. Thought it was someone good. Isaiah Thomas. James Worthy. We're not worthy. Charles Barkley. And. Dennis Johnson. All right, we got two more packs, guys. I appreciate you coming. Another one, one of these like one-hour live streams here. Three boxes we opened of 1990 Fleer. Probably the last boxes of these I'll open for a while. Uh, any other All Stars worth getting? I would say the Magic Johnson and the Larry Bird would be my number one and number two pick besides Jordan. And then next would probably be Elijah Wan. He did win two championships. Um, those would be my top three besides Jordan. Hey, we got a David Robinson rookie card right there. That's looking actually really nice. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. So might have a grade worthy Robinson and Magic Johnson in here as well. Bernard King. Yeah, you don't don't write off like that David Robinson base card, that Magic Johnson base card. Um, you know. The Larry Bird base card. They can go for some decent money. They're definitely moving up in price. Like I said, once that documentary comes out and stuff. All right, let's see what our last all-star is. It's going to be another Jordan. Oh, it's a Magic Johnson, though. All right. Not complaining about that. A um, little bit off on centering. But other than that, yeah, it's looking pretty darn nice. Definitely looking like a mint nine. I'll put it on the sleeve. I'll have to see what the price is on this one. I might just grade it anyways for my PC. So I don't think we've gotten one of those yet that looked really, really nice. And that one is looking pretty darn nice. If it wasn't for that slight off-centering, I'd say it was a 10. All right, let's go ahead and count up what we got out of three boxes here. Pretty, uh, pretty average. I mean, we got one Jordan per box, which was actually really good um, on the All-Star Jordan. That was really nice. I like that. And then the base, Jordan, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three per box. And then the uh, Sean Kemp, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three per box. So very, very solid numbers here. Um, if you're looking into getting these boxes, $60 a box, I'd say. It's just a pretty good price to pay. Um, other than that, hopefully you guys have a good night. It's going on 2 in the morning here, so I'm going to take off. Um, back here again tomorrow for some more openings hopefully you enjoyed it thanks for watching thanks uh, for the kind words and we will see you in the next one take care guys